All right, Vegas Ranger, welcome back to the show. Today's episode is going to be about Magpul stocks. So we got two, two types right here in front of me. One, we have the, the regular old carbine stock, and then we have the CTR stock. Uh, I know they look pretty much the same, and you might ask what's different about them. Well, if you're into AR-15s, you know the carbine stock is kind of loose when you put it on the, the buffer. And then they came out with uh, the CTR stock that has this little lever right here that kind of you know, provides tension and locks it into place on the stock so that it's not wiggling around. Um, the carbine stock is about $35, $40, and the CTR, the one with the locking lever, is about $60, $65. So I'm gonna show you today how to save 30 bucks by just buying the carbine stock. So put that to the side, and let me show you real quick. When you shoot the weapon, you know, it's always moving around. Uh, I know for me it's annoying, so I stopped buying these carbine stocks because I didn't like it. But that's why I bought this because it had the locking lever, but you had to spend $30 more. So I'm going to show you how to save $30 and how to make this not rattle around on the buffer tube. Okay, so when you get this and you turn it over, there's going to be two hex screws and it's gonna be one eighth hex. Stick it in there and we'll go ahead and unscrew that. There's gonna be two screws. Now this is just gonna pop right off. If you have some trouble pulling it all the way off is because it has some uh, some clips, but you can just use uh, a screwdriver just to separate it and it pops off just like that. If you can see, you can see straight through the, um, the stock. Now, what we're gonna do here, and this is what I used, Velcro strips that um, I bought at a Home Depot. And I'm just gonna be using the side with the fur on it, okay? And this has adhesive on one side, fur on the other side, and that's all I'm gonna be using. And that's gonna be kind of like my, uh, my uh, wedge between the stock and the buffer, that way it's not rattling around. So, I already did the back side, okay? So I put a strip in there, so I'm gonna show you how I do the front side. And I'm just gonna take a measurement and I'm gonna try to cut the, the Velcro to almost the exact width of the channel inside the stock. That's it, just cut it. Then I'll just go ahead and measure it. About right there, I mean, it doesn't have to be exact. So as you can see, I cut this strip and I'm gonna just slide it into this channel. And that's where it's gonna sit, inside the channel. So it's just gonna slip and stick inside this channel right here. It doesn't have to be exact when you cut it. Jesus, finally. Take the backing strip off. I'm gonna put the adhesive side down. I'm gonna take my hex driver and I'm just gonna make sure the adhesive, you know, stick into the, and I can also put my finger in there. Make sure that adhesive is firm. So like I said, I already did the back. 
I just put the front in and I do have a little bit sticking out right there and if you want you can cut it you can use an exacto knife or cut it a little shorter so I'm just gonna go and stick this There we go. Now, yeah. it's not wiggling no more. It's on there nice and firm. I can still adjust it. Collapse it, pull it out, and I fix my problem and I save myself $30. All right, hope you enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for the next one. I'll be uh, making more tips. Please uh, like and subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, I'll see you next time.